feed is a big budget item. Whether it's cows on pasture or calves in the feed yard, the entire industry would benefit from improvements in efficiency. Over half the cost of production is associated with feed resources, and so any advancements that we make there lower the cost of beef production all throughout the production chain and ultimately makes us uh, more cost competitive, so it's extremely important. It's a challenge to measure that trait, especially in pasture settings. Producers have historically looked at indicator traits. Cow size and uh, production, milk production, they do tell us something about uh, her requirements. Uh, there's no question that larger cows that milk more generally require more inputs. But that doesn't tell the whole story. There's uh, a type by environment interaction. So if we have limited resources or feed is limited, actually that does probably favor the more moderate uh, cow that has the lower uh, milk production. Now if we have more feed resources, then it probably does favor that larger cow that is able to have higher milk production, wean off a larger calf. She's able to use those feed resources. Shike is part of a five-year study looking at heifer and cow feed intake data and following them through years of production. Data on more than 500 heifers and 360 cows says selecting for efficient residual feed intake does not affect cow size. There was no difference in milk production either, which is, is good in that uh, you could uh, you know, select for that heifer efficiency without uh, any correlation to the milk intake. And also, uh, on a good note, was there were differences in intake. So those heifers that were more efficient in the post-weaning phase, uh, such that they ate less than was predicted or had a, a good or negative RFI, they also ate less as cows. Genomics and this research should help in the development of cow efficiency selection tools. In the meantime, Schumann recommends looking at the residual average daily gain index. It makes a big difference in the uh, value or cost uh, associated with that gain in the feed yard. And so uh, it takes two pieces together, the efficiency piece and the growth piece, and combines them into an index that uh, is easy to understand and can add value to your production. Shike says that's all the information you need if you're in a terminal program, but the research will continue to develop tools that work no matter your production goals. I'm Cindy Campbell.